Hey there, it's Mark. Here we have the C case assortment from 2021. I just want to say real quick, what is this six doing here? They never have a number. That's not a G because I have a G case from the past and you can see how they make their G's. I took a few pictures of other cases and it just seems to me that they always use uh, alpha digits for the last three. I don't recall them using a number. It's always ABC or something. Never a number six. If you notice, some of these cases are pretty old. If you look in the bottom left hand corner, some of these cases go back quite a few years. I write that down here in the corner just so I know what year is in the case. I'll put the year and then I put that digit. This way when I look at a case real fast, boom, I know exactly what year and what case it was. By the way, it it's, looks like that on all the sites. That looks like a six. Does not look like a G. Um, I don't pay too much attention to the numbers that much. This means it's an English long card, 2593. Now if you see international packages, C is the, the code here. And I don't have it memorized what the others are because I only unbox English packages nowadays because they, for one, they have the information on the back the little info bubble for new model, new models. Not only that, you know, there's people all over the world who get the international cases first. Do we want this upside down? Eh, who cares? They get the international cases first. So why should I do an international case when, you know, geez, it's like so many people have already done them already. So by the way, the Roger Dodger is the super treasure hunt in this case. And it's like a dark color. I wonder, that looks dark right there. Would be pretty cool if we get a Roger Dodger super treasure hunt. This kind of has a story. Oh, it's not uh, the Roger Dodger. Mm, ba -boom, ba -boom, boom, ba -boom. Oh, well, it would be nice. Let's keep moving. Now, this right here, this is new for 2021, the 2020 Jaguar F type. It was the new model released in the B case. Carries over now into the C case. Yes, it does have tail light decorations and headlight decorations. Or I should say front and rear. This model right here is for the Netflix series Fast and Furious Spy Racers. This is the main character, I believe. Ion Motors Thresher. And it was a new model last year. That's why it doesn't have a new model here. HW Formula Solar. <laughs> for some reason, I read and I just say solar. Formula Solar. You know, like solar system. Let's see. And if, in case you missed it, this is what I was talking about. On the English packages, we get that on the back. You can pause that and read it. I don't want to hold things up any longer than I need to. Wee! Popping a wheelie! Donut drifter! There you go. Hey, nice. Very nice pink color. And I'm sure there's going to be fans who like that color, who would like that. Hey, Speed Dozer's back. I wonder if they made any changes. It's actually a pretty heavy model. I don't know if I'll get a chance to check that out. Uh, I do casting change videos over on Mr. Grooves. Here's the Honda Civic Si. And I did a casting change video on Fig Rig. I decided to put it on the RGTV channel. I mean, RGTV, yeah, channel. Race Grooves TV channel. I decided to put it over there because uh, Fig Rig, it, it deals with minifigures. I talked about, you know, playing with it and stuff. So I put it over on RGTV rather than Mr. Groove's, my collector channel. Another another donut drifter. Hey, Tricera Trucks back. It took a break for a year or so. It's a newer Hot Wheels dinosaur model. There might be another dinosaur model coming up. I don't think it's in this case, actually. Volvo 850 Estate. Eight, yeah, Volvo 850 Estate. Estate, in case people didn't know, estate is what they call wagons over there in Europe, I believe. Sorry, I say that. Wow, someone tried to steal my car. Look at that. Look, it's, you can't. Oh, shoot. Well, since this is here, let's go ahead and open it up because I talked about it last week, how the cloak and dagger, you can pop off the body. Let's see. Did I get it? Yep, so it still pops off. There you go. Cloak and dagger. Usually I save the uh, special things for Mr. Grooves for unboxing. But couldn't help it. It was already uh, it was already open. 
So there you have Cloak and Dagger. Oh, by the way, it's part of the Glow Racers series. So you can see the, all the white parts on the inside, the base. Wow, I bet you this thing, that's going to glow a lot for you fans of Glow in the Dark models or Glow in the Dark stuff. Custom 77 Dodge Van. It's the Jack in the OHW oh, Art Car series. So it has the letter A on top. Lots of decos on, in, on this model. So if you find that, be great. Glow Racers, another one. How many are they going to have? How many are they going to have this year? Only five. Oh, well, only five. You know the best one? I don't think it's this one. It's coming up. Look at that one. That one's glowing too. You can hardly tell by the color. Oh, never mind. It's the same car. Anyways, Linster prototype. You can tell the glowing parts, obviously. Another Ion Motors Thresher. Here you have the 69 Chevelle. This is a track car. X Racer body. You can see right through it. Here you have the Rockin' Santa sled. Don't tell me we're going to have another case with issues. I had a case just a few cases ago where like uh, 30 of the models or 23, I forgot the number. 23 of them had busted blisters. That happens. What can you say? Here you have the Nash. It was the winner of the Legends Tour. I think 2019. Not the most recent one. So this is... Uh, the second appearance, the first debuted in the B case. Now it carries over into the C case, the Nash. I gave a little snippet of the uh, car. Did I show the back? I don't know if I show the back. Let's just go. Another Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle party wagon. It was a new model before. They're reissuing it. People commented last time that uh, this is the same. So if you never got it, if you're a newer collector, it is back out. And another Linster prototype, Glow in the Dark, Glow Racers. Hey, what? What? Surfing School Bus. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Two colors. Uh, Telltale sign. Where's the windows? Oh, did I get in there? No windows. Funny, it looks blue, just like that blue right there. Oh, my. Oh, my. He's been reverse scalped. Instead of chopping off the top, they chopped off the bottom, the metal. That's plastic. Plastic base, plastic side. <laughs> All this. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I better not say nothing. Surfing school bus. That's all right. If you're going to look for, if you want to see how this model was in its prime, you get a uh, an older version. Uh, but you know what? Some people are going to like it. Another speed dozer. Another estate. There you have it. Hmm. Yeah, it does have uh, brake like decals right there. Kind of hard to see red and orange on a red body. Here's another one that's actually split. It's a uh, plastic on the bottom, metal on the top. Uh, if people only want to pay a dollar for the cars, guess what? You're going to get, you get what you pay for. Another Honda Civic Si. Beautiful color. Looks fantastic. Another surfing school bus. Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. I think it was the last case where this was a super treasure hunt. It had a special color. Uh, spe special Spectra Flame paint. Here's the fig rig. And I did this review over on RGTV. Yeah, it's had a casting chain, so you can tune in over there if you'd like to know about it. By the way, a pixel shaker. Here's another one, look, coming apart. Uh, by the way, something that I did not notice in the video, and someone let me know, so I posted it on the community board. They changed this back end right here too. I put my fig rig away already. I can't compare it. But if you check the community board over on uh, RGTV, you can see the difference. Blade Runner, off-road doom buggy. Who knows, it could be a, a solar vehicle. Kind of looks like it could be a buggy that you could race around on the uh, some uh, lunar surface. Head gasket is new, clip rod. And you could put, uh, you could clip things in there. Like money, if you have any money. Here you go, new for 2021. Head gasket, 
there you go, pretty cool, pretty cool looking model. It's kind of like a uh, tuned uh, what's that? Red Baron, <laughs> kind of like a tuned Red Baron, huh? The helmet. I wonder if they're going to do this, and then they can license it and put uh, uh, some type of sports team on there for decoration. Plastic base. No thing is metal is the helmet. That looks cool. H.W. Daredevils. And if you'd like to read the back, there you go. El Camino, crazy graphics. It looks very, very unique in the Art Car Series. Very unique. It's nice to have something different. 80 El Camino. No graphics. <laughs> they spent all the money on the graphics on the tops and the sides. You're not going to get any in the front or rear. 17 Nissan GTR R35. That's a new color. First time I've seen this color. And if you're, a, if you're a fan, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know I like the Ford GT. But this is the 2016 Ford GT Race. Low and sleek. Love the Ford GT. This one, mm, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I kind of like the 2005 version of the Ford GT rather than this one. Do I like this? Yes. Do I love it? Oh, oh, guess what? Last. Blade Runner, but we're going to hurry. Blade Runner. 17 Nissan GTR R35. And here we go. Magic 8 Ball Roger Dodger. Roger Dodger's long. I think it came out in the 80s, right? Roger Dodger. No, no, no. Actually, I think it was a 70s car. 70s, 80s, I forget. Roger Dodger. This model is going to be the super treasure hunt for the C cases. Well, at least the C cases. It's usually one super treasure hunt per case. However, on the base, it has a little magic eight ball, right? They said magic eight ball. So you know that thing, you shake it, and then it'll have a triangle that floats up with an answer. This one says, congratulations, no, concentrate, and ask again. That's because they're going to have multiple phrases on the bottom. But if you want to, if you want to get the one with the super treasure hunt, it has five different phrases. So you want to get one with that kind of a phrase. Not only that, the car itself will have rubber tires and Spectra Flame paint. So this one is just a regular issue. So if you get one with Spectra Flame paint, rubber tires, and then it has one of those five phrases, at least one of those five phrases that I showed you. That's the super treasure hunt. There is a regular treasure hunt in the case. Some people are probably already typed it. Super treasure hunt is pretty rare, like one in every 15 cases. All right, you can go through, you could actually go through 50 cases and not find one. Find one. But it seems like there's about one for every 15 cases. Oh, I have something... I did I didn't mention but you should have seen in the picture behind the car for the super it's gonna have a gold super treasure hunt logo for the basic treasure hunt this is the basic treasure hunt of the C case and you see the circle flame logo right there in the middle of your screen that's the this is the basic treasure hunt you know basic treasure hunts are probably in half the cases or over half the cases there's a lot but you can't it's hard for you to tell that this is a basic treasure hunt. It has text behind the model, but it's kind of hard to see because the van is so big. I thought I heard a... Yeah, sure enough, look. i got a crack right there. That's okay. You want to see what the uh, what it says behind the van? Here you go. It says, congratulations. This symbol means you just found a collectible treasure hunt car. Notice how the logo is silver? So, basic treasure hunt. They're in over half of the cases, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't work for Mattel. But uh, it's still nice to find. You never know. We might find a super treasure hunt on the bottom. Most of the time, it seems like they're on the top. But uh, we'll see. Here you have Heavy Hitcher. This is not a new model. You know that's been around a long time. Here you have Hot Wilder. I think they made this into a monster truck as well. Clip rod. Uh, 
Oh, this one's a new model. New for 2021. You have the Lancia Delta Integrale. But I think, oh, if you're in Italy, I think they pronounce it Lancia. So, pretty cool. Nice to get another rally type model. Lancia Delta Integrale. Michigan, look, Michelin, oh, look at that. Michelin logo. Seems like it's been a while since I've seen a Michelin logo on a Hot Wheels model. But they might have used it on like the premium castings, like in uh, car culture and stuff like that. And I might, I might have just missed it. I don't, I don't look that closely. Loopster's back. It's like a roller coaster type model. And there's a heavy hitcher. I just want to show that real quick because I want to move on and show you this. Now, the Loopster, I'm going to show you on the back if you notice that. You could connect Loopsters. So the, the rear of this one, you can see that. The front has the same thing. So you can connect Loopsters. You can make a chain of Loopsters. And by the way, those wheels are just for decoration. Mm, they don't they don't move. They're part of that. They're part of this plastic piece. Oh, base code N41. Now that I looked, this this case was produced the 41st week of 2020. N is for 2020. Notice another busted blister. We're on a roll. Oh, here's another new model. So what was the other one? Heavy the helmet type one. That was pretty cool. Lethal Diesel. Excuse me, fellas. Lethal Diesel. Oh, look at that. They put like uh, track symbols on the top. So let's see. Sure enough, best for track. Got the track loop symbol. Wow, looking pretty mean. Metal body. There you go. Metal body. You can see those chrome plastic parts. Probably no interior since they have these parts here. It looks like, yeah, just chrome right there. So it has no interior, it's just these parts. That's all right, it looks pretty cool. Besides, if you only gonna want to spend a dollar, that's not a treasure hunt. That's the track loop symbol, meaning it's supposed to work on the track. I like it. Let's see what it says on the back. Born in El Segundo, California. That's where Mattel's headquarters are. 17 Lamborghini Urus. Two samples. Now, I've been doing the case unboxings for a while. There's like uh, 25 models, 26 models that will be duplicated in the case. It keeps their costs down. And not only that, you know, I presume it's also to give you a chance to get the models, right? This way, maybe somebody only wants one and then there's another one for you. The Batman Batmobile. This is a fantastic track car. Uh, I don't know if it's been released in this uh, blue type color. It's typically just black, and I'm trying to think. It might have been like black, gray, and stuff like that. I don't recall anything colorful like this. This is kind of like a classic. There was a time period when the Batmobile was blue like that. Not that Batmobile. Diora 3, I did a feature on this over there on Mr. Grooves. Looks pretty good in these colors. Nice contrasting colors between the bike and the interior. And then they kind of ampl amplify that with the decals on the side. No decals in the rear or front. Uh, 2020 Jaguar F-Type. This is a carryover. The new model in the last case. So now it appears for a second time in the subsequent case. So you get a chance to get it. And then after this, it'll be gone. Time for more new stuff. It's always people want new, new, new. And this was in the last case as well. Looks pretty good. Land Rover Defender 90. Looks pretty good. Like the color presentation. I'm just looking to see. Kind of looked like it might have been missing a part. It's fine. Zombot. Robot car. And it's got feet. It's got feet because you can stand it up like that. Yeah, you can. Really, buy one. Check it out. You can stand it up. Here we have another Batman. The Batman Batmobile. Oh, by the way, you look at this and say, Oh, look, it has uh, windows. I mean, yeah, it has a window. Oh! This one looks like it got squished. Why is this looking so flat? I guess that's how it is. 
you know, it's in this color and it's like, man, I don't remember it being that flat, but maybe it was. But as far as the Hollinator, here's a peek at the Hollinator real fast. But as far as the window that it shows right there, it's there. See? Oh, it kind of makes it, oh, it is. You can't see through it. I thought it was a solid yellow, but it's translucent. You can see through it. So in the front, you can see it's a translucent type plastic. And so it would be the same back there. You can, you can barely make that out. It's kind of hard. Trying to get it on camera. Here's a new model. Here you have the Urban Outlaw, Magnus Walker, Urban Outlaw. New for 2020, and it might look familiar, but uh, no, it is new, the Porsche 935. And if you're thinking, wait a second, they already had a 935. Well, it's the 935-78, very similar in appearance. And I think that's pretty much just been used, has not appeared in the basic assortment. Mostly collector cars, and it did appear in a Porsche series, I believe. Here's a look at the base, so you can see how the splitter sticks out so far. It's hard to see it like this. It's very tucked up against that part. When you go like this, you definitely can see how far it sticks out. Another nice addition to the for the Porsche collector to seek out. And I didn't show you the back. Good thing I had two. I didn't have to go back to the other one. And we'll just make sure. Just make sure no differences. You know, people like to collect errors, variations, or sometimes they help me out and say, hey, you're missing a window. And actually, when you're looking at this, no, it's the same. I thought maybe it had darker windows, but no, they look the same. Here you go. Subaru WRX STI took a break and it is back. And it looks very good. Very good graphics on it. Look how it has that stripe on the far side. I like it. I probably have all the colors of this model. Twin mill. What do you think of those wheels? Um, certain cars. Decorations on top. There's not a whole lot of room on the rear. I, I'm not expecting graphics. See? There's not a lot of room there. Uh, it has a Hot Wheel, lo Hot Wheel logo on the top right there. 69 Mustang. This is not an X-Racer. That is a metal body. Big blown engine. Here is a second one for the Lancia Delta Integrale. The new models are generally two per case. And so that's our second one. This way give people to, a chance to get it. There'll be like two in the first appearance, like this one. And next month there'll be one. And then it fades out. And then maybe if you're lucky, if you like that model, maybe it'll get a recolor this year. Twin mill, another one. BMW, M3, GT3. Eighty nine Porsche, nine forty four turbo. Porsche is getting quite a few releases over the last few months. Seems like there was some time when they, they want, you know, they would get a lot of releases and then it kind of fade away for a while. Now back in full force, especially with them having a partnership with Magnus Walker. Another Porsche. Another El Camino, 80 El Camino. Dodge Ivan. Here we have the Dodge van, new model, new for 2021, and it appeared in the last case. I will be doing a video on Mr. Gruz on this. I waited, I waited because I noticed something in this case. It'd be better for me to do the video after I unbox this one. And so that's why I did, uh, I wanted to wait on that Dodge van to make a video. Cole Combi, oh man, there was only one in the last case, only one in this case. My daughter's going to want one, I'm pretty sure. So I guess I get one and she gets one. I would like to have two. But I'll ask her see if she wants it. Almost guaranteed she's going she's gonna to want it. What is this? BMW M3 GT2. We already had this one. And here's the second lethal diesel. New model to the case. Has lots of room for them to do graphics on it. Not lots of room, but you know. Plenty of room. Another 
party van. Another Zombot. And another head gasket. New for 2021. Uh, I don't. I, th I think I showed you this real quick. Even though it's from the last case, I just give you a glance. Now I'll go ahead and check all the base codes and make sure everything's all right. All right, let's do the case wrap up. I got all the cards put back in the case, and if you don't know, I put the cards together and then I compare them to see if there's any variations. I look at the base codes, see if there's anything interesting. I look at the case codes on the back. And that's when I put these two together. And somebody probably already typed it by the time I got to the end here. Surf and school bus. Hey, look at that graphic. Pretty nice. Looks like the graphic that's on the card, don't you think? Well, that one has the graphic on the card, but hey, this is what you call a naked error. It's naked. It's missing the printing. Very nice. Very nice catch. Very nice. I wouldn't have known. If there was two of them in the case, if there was one in the case, I wouldn't have known. Maybe I would have noticed eventually. I don't know. Otherwise, I think there was nothing. Oh, yeah. And another reason I, I put these two together. Check this out. This one's a C case. This one's D. I got a D case car in here. Well, they print the cards and then they get used. It's not a big deal. You know, they carry over anyways. I told you. So that's pretty cool. Gummy and error. I have a playlist for the errors. And it's in the description uh, below as well. Now, as far as these Batman Batmobiles, both of them have uh, C codes. C, C. But when I looked at the base codes, this one's older. N37. This is the one that was the code for the case. N41. All of these had N41 codes. This one's a month earlier. I don't know, maybe somebody forgot to change the, uh, uh, the counter when to put it on there. Does it mean anything? Not really. I'm just pointing it out. It's kind of interesting. People like to talk about that stuff. By the way, speaking of Twin Mill, on track time, I re-uploaded an old video. and I had to take out the shout-outs. No more shout-outs on track time, so I re-uploaded that. I told you that I was going to be doing this on Mr. Groove's. So you can find that over there. Oh, yeah. I reviewed that nice little Mercedes-Benz RGTV. Talked about the casting change. Remember to subscribe to the channels that you like so that they show up in your subscription feed. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.